Hi and welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to learn how to do the unit circle by hand. And what that means is we're going to use our hand to find the values in the first quadrant of the unit circle, at least in this video. There will be a second video that explains how to take that and transfer it to the whole unit circle. So let's start first with the first quadrant. So I've drawn in the x-axis from 0 over and from the y-axis 0 over. So this is quadrant 1. So let's place in here the values of cosine and sine. So the first coordinate is always cosine, the second coordinate is always sine. And for this one our um, point is the point 1, 0. And up here our point is 0, 1. So cosine is 0 at 90 and sine is 1 at 90. Cosine is 1 at 0 and sine is 0 at 0. Okay, so now let's look at how the hand comes into play. What you're going to do is you're actually going to draw this on your hand. I don't know how well you can see this on our video, but we have I have a s divided by 2 right here in the palm of my hand. And then I've got a 60 degree angle, a 45 degree angle, and a 30 degree angle because I'm going to line those up on the unit circle where my thumb is 0, my pinky is, I'm sorry, my thumb is 90, my pinky is 0, and pointer finger is 60, 45 is the middle finger, and 30 is my ring finger. And on the top of each finger I've got the square, uh, square root drawn. I don't know how well you can see it, but I've got a square root drawn. That's just going to help remind me I need to take the square root of however many fingers I hold up. Okay, let's start here with the 30 degree angle. What I'm going to do is at 30 degrees, I'm going to fold that finger down. And I'm going to have three square roots up here, which represent the first coordinate. So it's going to be square root 3 over the 2 that's in the palm of my hand. So that means for 30 degrees, I'm going to get the square root of 3 over 2. Now, what am I going to get for the sine? This lower part is the sine or the second coordinate. So I only have one square, one finger, so this is going to be the square root of 1 over 2. And we know the square root of 1 is just 1, so it's a half. Okay, so let's move to the 45 degree angle. I'm going to fold that finger down. And what have I got? I've got two square roots for the cosine over 2. So I'm going to put square root of 2 over 2. And then what have I got for my sine? I also have two square roots over the what's in my palm, which is 2. Okay, so let's go up to 60 degrees. Here's my 60 degrees, so I'm going to fold that finger down. When I do that, I have my thumb is up, and that's 1 square root of 1 over 2. Square root of 1 is 1 over 2, so that's just a half. But this one is 3 square roots, 1, 2, 3. I have 3 square roots. That one doesn't simplify, and it's always over 2. So that is the sign at 60 degrees. And we have actually created the order pairs for quadrant 1. So that's how you do the order pairs for quadrant 1. And this is six, uh, 30 degrees, which is pi 6, 45 degrees, which is pi 4ths, and 60 degrees, which is pi 3rds, and then 90 degrees is pi halves. So if you're looking at radians, those are the radian measures, and of course 0 is 0. Hope this video was helpful to start with quadrant 1. Watch the other videos to show you how to finish out the unit circle.